The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Ingenia Herbicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Soybean School. Uh, well, the snow is melted for now, um, and the days are getting longer, and it won't be long before soybean planters and drills uh, start rolling into fields. And, uh, well, that means it's time for us to tackle some planting questions. And two questions that always come up, uh, planting depth. You know, how deep should we go? One inch, 1.5, maybe two? And, uh, and what about planting date? Um, how early can we go? When should we go? And uh, let's let's tackle some of those questions. Um, and to do that, I am joined by Horse Bonner. He is Omafra's uh, soybean specialist. Hi, Horse. Hey, welcome, uh, and uh, thanks for stopping by. Oh, it's good to see you. It's good to be with you, Bernard. Yeah, it's been a long winter, and uh, we're all looking forward to, to getting out there. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> we don't know uh, what the spring will bring. It's looking good out there now. Um, but, uh, you know, it may snow. It may not. It may be dry. It may be wet. But... What I do know is we have some research from last year, and um, I want to dig into that. And uh, you did, you know, both of those topics, planting depth and and planting date. Um, you know, given the conditions that we're going into this year, let's look at your planting depth data. And uh, I put it up on the screen right now. And, uh, you know, in 2020, you planted at four depths and at three times during the spring. And, uh, you know, we're looking at some stand count data here. What did you learn? So the, the, the key thing you always have to remember with soybeans is that you want enough moisture for them to really be able to germinate properly and then also emerge. So that's the challenge why we don't just go at half an inch or even quarter inch kind of thing. It's uh, it's a moisture uh, availability issue, right? And so that's why some growers like to go a little bit deeper to make sure that they have the moisture. And so that's a starting point. So what did we learn? Well, the April 22nd date there, the seeding, the, the stand was the same for one inch and one and a half inches. And then at two inches, we had a little bit less. And at two and a half inches, it really dropped. So the learning from that one is, Bernard, that um, the, the story that we've heard sometimes is with very early planting, you should go deeper to try and minimize the amount of fluctuation in terms of temperature uh, because of air temperature changes so much, uh, that's not correct for soybeans. We want them to be relatively shallow so that they get as much heat from the sun as possible. So then as you get into May, you know, again, a similar kind of story. Uh, the, the plant stand didn't drop until we went to two inches or deeper. And then for the final date, of course, things are much warmer. So things are starting to dry out. And, uh, yeah, we could go two inches, no problem. And even two and a half inches really was fine. Uh, but we did start to lose some plants. Greg. Let's add in some some yield here, um, Horst, and see uh, what that tells us here. Obviously, you've got some nice yields at those, at those uh, that, that one and one inch depth here. Yeah, that's right. And so the, the learning here, or let me put it this way, the surprise that I had is that the one inch did as well as the one and a half inches. Like it's, it's well known that uh, the kind of rule of thumb for soybeans is one and a half inches, and we've confirmed that here. But some growers say, you know, and no-till, planting early, um, I've got the moisture, let's go even shallower just to get them out of the ground fast. And this this data set here really supports that to some extent. Uh, the yield was the same for the one inch and the one and a half inch. The, 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 the trouble is, you know, if you run out of moisture at one inch, because it can dry up pretty quickly in, in that top, top layer of soil. So that's the part that scares us a little bit. But those numbers are compelling, right? If uh, we're going to do it again in 2021 here, and, and we'll see how it turns out. But, um, uh, you know, if we can pull that off year year after year, you, you, you may start to ask yourself, should we even be going uh, at an inch and a half? Maybe an inch and a quarter is, is uh, even better, right? And so the obvious other learning from those numbers is that two yielded significantly less and two and a half, you know, again, less than that ideal 
planning depth of, of one and a half. So to sum that up, when I look at those numbers, I think one and a half inches is a good recommendation regardless of date. Let's, uh, I'm going to put in uh, one more slide here, and that is, it highlights, um, you know, some, um, shall we say, plan stands at the lower uh, depths mm-hmm. here. And I guess the question I have for you here, um, Horace, is, you know, what are the implications for, you know, for seeding rates here? Yeah, right. And so, you know, a lot of our American friends, and, and there was even some recent recent work out of the Maritimes that showed lower seeding rates are fine for soybeans, right? And some of these numbers are quite low from what we're used to, um, you know, 100, 130,000 seeding rate. Um, and my numbers here would show that for those first two dates, you need to be below 135,000 plants per acre before you start to lose any yield, right? So what does that mean in terms of seeding rate? Well, it depends on your soil type and it depends on whether you have a seed treatment and those kind of questions. But basically, you know, I think that 160,000 for a 15-inch row unit planter is right in the game and these numbers make uh, make sense with that, right? And so, yeah, once you get into later planting, we have to up that a little bit and the drill is a little bit higher as well. But the kind of cool part about it all is that we, we are going to reassess these seeding rate recommendations starting this year, a three-year project to see if you know, maybe we should be going a little lower than our general recommendations right now. Yeah. Well, some great stuff, uh, Horst. What I'm hearing is 1.5 is still the sweet spot. And if you want to, you got you got to have a reason to go a little less or a little deeper. No, I think that's it. I think you hit the nail on the head. You really uh, need to have a good reason to change that. And the main reason would be just to drive this point home. If you're looking for moisture, you should go deeper, right? If it's dry, you don't want to plant soybeans into dry soil. That can cause you real grief. Mm. Well, Horst, hey, some great insights here on part one of our planting series on, on planting depth. Uh, will you come back and join us uh, next time? We'll talk planting date? Absolutely. Look forward to it. 